kinds of cards we use for bank cards here um, have, in a sense, been overtaken a little bit by technology around the world, which makes them more secure. Um, the typical bank card that you'll see today is, is this one here, and if you look, that's the black stripe, and we call that the magnetic stripe. What's happening is that these are being compromised um, by users uh, of the card taking them to, to certain places and using them. Devices skim the information off here, it's called, which is lifting it off electronically. And they can actually form a, a new card and use it fraudulently. So that's the limitation, if you like. It, these these uh, magnetic stripe cards have been used for many years. Um, uh, but they have, as I say, globally now. Essentially what happens is, with, with this sort of crime, it's global crime. And when uh, many countries adopt a more secure technology, the fraudsters go and prey on countries that haven't. And we're in that interim step. Uh, of, of adopting this chip technology. To do this, to, to help facilitate it, um, Paynet Group has got behind uh, an initiative which is we call it the Great Migration to EMV Chip. And what we're doing is we're inviting stakeholders in the industry um, who, who are uh, representing different bodies who are interested in seeing this move towards a more secure payment environment. And we're inviting them to come along. If you see behind me, there's a, a big uh, card and a, and a chip. And we're inviting them along to sign that with us as a sort of signature to say we're endorsing the direction of the move to the uh, EMV chip. And we're calling it the Great Migration. Um, the Great Migration to EMV chip. And, and really, that is a fight against fraud. The things that I suppose that the different stakeholders that are involved are going to be everybody from you know, the regulators and, and the banking bodies, the, the financial institutions themselves, and then providers of various services of which Paynet Group is one. What we're doing ourselves to, to help facilitate this is that our platform that both um, read EMV chip cards as well as the ability to issue, which is um, provide a, a card with the chip functionality um, has been upgraded and that's been a, a significant project for us and we now have the capability to both read and, and deliver to the market EMV chip cards and our first customers will be going live with those in the next month and a half. So that's part of our, our initiative is, is, is to have invested in the uh, EMV technology but we also feel we have a role as one of the leading uh, players in the payments industry as I said to provide some motivation and momentum behind this initiative. The quicker that Kenya can move towards a fully EMV chip environment the faster we can control fraud and actually reduce it dramatically uh, to, compared to the levels that we're going through right now. The battle against fraud is, is ongoing. Um, unfortunately, like all technologies, this will be a step ahead, but it doesn't mean that we stop. And so we remain vigilant as an organization, looking at the technologies that are coming and how we can implement those. And one of the things that I think that um, we see happening next is, is that cyber crime is really going to now start focusing on the data centers that we run, because that's where fraudsters now try and tackle um, the, the, the opportunity. They can't get the data off the card anymore, so they try and hack into systems. And I think we're going through a process ourselves um, to certify with what the most stringent of security standards, um, which include you know, uh, uh, all the sort of cyber protection you can imagine, as well as physical protection. And that we see as the next step in the fight against fraud. So it is ongoing. Um, we're, we're not just thinking of the EMV chip and pin, we're looking ahead and saying that this battle continues to, to be played out in the, in the greater um, international community. But uh, I suppose the, the key message from our perspective is that um, we're ready, we're prepared for it, and, and we're ready to help financial institutions make this move as, as seamlessly and, and quickly as possible.